good place to start a video in our first spot. Right? We got a little divider. Oh, uh, I think we're number 95th in the queue. Fun fact, uh, Columbus's airport has art exhibits and little places to sit. Just, it's actually kind of nice. Columbus, Ohio. Comfort in the suites. So I had to, they had an airport shuttle, but the guy had to go home early and whatnot so he couldn't run the uh, holy shit, I'm gonna get whacked. Um, the guy couldn't uh, come pick me up because he was gone. So he says, just take a taxi, we'll reimburse you. So I went to the taxi stand, got a taxi. And $26 later, I got here. And he's like, wow. Well, the taxi guy, he didn't know how to put any address into his phone. So he says, here you go. And he hands it to me. And the damn thing is like in hieroglyphics. It's in another language. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to type this? And it's like. All right. So the hotel has security guard. The quick stop has security. The cops are arresting somebody right there. They've got a riot van out. I don't even know if I'm staying in the right side of town. These are pretty nice hotels. There's Marriott's. There's all this around here. But damn. It's getting rough. They made me sit at the short kid's table. I can't sit at the bar. So I got told I couldn't sit up the booth because they were uh, they were trying to move everybody down because, you know, they only wanted the server to be sitting on one side. It's like, all right. And uh, so I went and sat a little short side. But then people walked right in after me and they just let them sit right up there. And I'm like, that ain't cool. Like... I wanted to sit there and you wouldn't let me. Yeah, I, 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 this is not a good neighborhood. Like, I've done seen people running, all the cops are. This may just be a fluke, but uh, I shouldn't be out here damn near midnight. Also, I probably shouldn't be holding my phone up because, you know, it, hey, it screams. Can't come steal me. Checking the ways behind me. All right, so. I could not get a queen bed, so they gave me two, or two queens, but wow, this thing is actually pretty nice. It's a hundred bucks a night, but uh, I usually go to my days in down the road, but I thought, nah, I want some waffle house because I kind of got gypped there in Gainesville, so, but yeah. So you get a double sink, double bed, toilet, shower, tie all the good lotions and soaps. Towels are soft, full length mirror. You get a microwave, you got coffee, and you got a fridge. That works. I'm also realizing I left my Gatorade in the hotel in Sioux Falls. And that's a nice couch, which is actually comfortable. And the TV works. And, oh, good and thick. And, oh, okay, I'm out. Good night. Good morning. So, I slept all right for the last five and a half hours. Got up. Got his coffee. Doing paperwork. By the way, did I mention they have complimentary bottles of water here? Yeah. I think one may have been open, though. No. I almost used it. And then I was like, wait a minute. So I'm gonna throw that away to make sure that they know because somebody just put it right back there. Okay, so like every time I walk into this bathroom, like it's intoxicating. Like like a woman's wonderful perfume. And I can't figure out what smells good. Something smells good in here. But it's every time you just walk in. I don't know. Like, I, I actually just go to hang out in the bathroom and everywhere else. It's weird. So the shower is actually nice. The hot towels were good and everything. But there's a problem. I mean, in my opinion. So there's a hook over here on the door. And then you got to shower. But there's no other hooks whatsoever. So you got to lay your towel down on the floor. Or, if not, you have to walk all the way across to be able to get a towel out of there. It's kind of inconvenient. I mean, you think they could put the hook on the wall right there, so, but, eh, 
can happen, I guess. So, ironically, my watch was the uh, first person to tell me happy birthday this morning. My 40th birthday on the road. Granted, my wife actually called, but I put on my watch. My watch said, happy birthday. Hey. Okay, so this doesn't work. It doesn't matter, right? Let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's all you're going to see. Hmm. 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 I guess. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can see something, but seriously, I'm not really going to look that hard for something. And they got a full breakfast. It's actually a hot breakfast. So, egg whites and sausage. Nothing there. But I actually have an Uber on the way, and he'll be there in like three minutes. Just kidding. I'm just on my third. Ladies and gentlemen, Interstate 80 is closed due to an accident coming into Chicago. So therefore, we're taking the Skyhook, which is also known as Highway Robbery, to get around the north side and take this toll road where you got to pay Indiana, you got to pay Chicago, you got to pay Illinois, you got to pay everybody. It's robbery. I'm sure you're wondering, how much does it cost? Oh, this next like 15 miles is going to cost me 130 bucks. There's Chicago. We're going to go straight through the guts of that thing at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and break. And wouldn't you know it, the uh, wonderful city of Chicago is too damn cheap to actually put paper in the receipt bills. Of course, it's all unmanned. you got to swipe your card to get through the gate. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to see here. It's a really awesome birthday. So, not only am I having a really shitty day, apparently there's a police chase and they're coming this way. Yeah, this is gonna be great. They're gonna end up wrecking this thing. I, I just know it. It's gonna go bad. They're not even like listening to me at all. I ain't wrecking. Still trying to figure out how to get the action up off the ground instead of popping them out of there and dragging like on them. Yeah. This has uh, been a great birthday. Yeah. I'm just saying, I wouldn't use these guys at all, but I'm coming up with 10 grand right now. Somebody's paying it. And we figured out it actually wasn't my fault. Um, the, uh, the bolt was pre-broke whenever it was installed in the factory. The U-bolt was broke and then the, uh, they painted over it. So, so yeah. That's why the safeties didn't work. That's why everything went bad real quick in a hurry. And honestly, I should have dropped that thing off the cliff or off the bridge, but uh, I didn't. All right, I'm in quality in a shiller park. I'm not even gonna bother showing you it. I'm just not, sorry. Uh, this is actually the one I haven't shown you that I stay in here all the time whenever I'm staying at the airport because I got an airport show. But it's old, 67 bucks a night. It's next to the airport, literally right next to the airport. And they got a bar and good food here. So, yeah. I think, I think it's called Cloud something is the bar in here. Listen guys, I'm sorry if I'm kind of down, but uh, I'm hoping tomorrow I find out if I'm fired or not. I may wake up and just no access to the app and wouldn't, nobody may answer the phone and, and in that case, I guess I figured it out pretty easy, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of a big deal, and after figuring it out, it's actually not my fault. Uh, the uh, U-bolt the that the safety was supposed to like bump into, the bolt was actually broken and just painted over, so I don't know, but we'll see. This is a thick blanket. These are comfy pillows, and I'm going to sleep. Good night. Well, I slept like crap, and it wasn't because the bed wasn't comfortable. It was because I just have too much on my mind. I don't know what's going to happen. So, I'm getting coffee. Can I head over there? Figure it out. Later. Well, they ain't fired me yet. So... They let me continue on with this load and they haven't told me I can't pick up the next one.
so I might get out of this alive. I do kind of enjoy the ride through, you know, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and North Dakota. It's just nice, it's slow, not a lot of traffic. You just get the road and go. I've always wondered what a Canadian mail truck looks like. Yeah, kind of cool. Like I say, I see weird stuff on the road. So when I go to Fargo, North Dakota, I try to stop and see if there's either Roadway or Baymont, but they're both full tonight because there's this restaurant called Randy's University Diner or whatnot. They got two locations, but I like it. They got good food, good coffee, and I'm um, doing something different because I'm staying at Econo Lodge on the side of town, which I've already done that video for y'all, so you know what it's like. No idea what that's about. I know. No, for a fact, I'm here to go to But I'm in Fargo, North Dakota. That could be like a mile outside of town. People are still playing and having a good time. You put me in a different room. I guess it's kind of like they're sweet. I'll show you. So when you start seeing bunny rabbits coming out, you know that winter is over. All right, so you got a bathroom. You got a king bed, a couch, TV up there, a little desk area, a microwave, and a fridge. Okay, this fridge, mm, kind of works, but, you know, we ain't got no coffee in a condo like this. Well, I have a hack. Whenever I stopped and ate dinner, I had old Randy's diner fill up my Yeti, and I saved my cup from the Waffle House, so I can fill up this Waffle House cup, and microwave the shit out of it, I'm going to have to wash it first because it's kind of nasty. I can microwave it, and then I'm gonna have coffee in the morning. I think I'm pretty smart. Maybe. Looks freshly made. Blankets actually kind of thick. Oh. Heaven. Uh, it's not quite heaven, but it's pretty decent. So, I'm going to bed. I gotta get up in like six hours. So, later. Actually, I probably do the TV. I mean, because it's huge. I mean, yeah, you can see my reflection. It's pretty huge. It does work. I love that kid. All right. I'm going to bed. I'm ending this here. I will catch y'all on the next one later. Hey, thanks for liking and subscribing. If you stay to the end, let me know.